Shalom. I give all praise, glory, and honor to my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I give a double honor to the apostles of Great Middlestone of Torah the Truth. Peace and salutations to the elect and hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother, Ayash Kabar, with a, a short lesson. Um, you know, uh, essentially, I was, I was at home watching videos of the other prophets and pondering on certain things. And one thing that I've noticed throughout the scriptures, as well as um, um, what's being taught to us by the the um, elder apostles, I'm starting with elder apostle Tahar on down, is that there's a certain walk, you know, that these men walk in. And it's a pronounced walk. It's a walk of faith that when you look at it, it's confidence. And, and of course, that's what faith is, confidence. <clears throat> but when you look at these men and, you, and when you look at how they move they move with confidence you know and it's a very beautiful thing when you can acknowledge that that even even the men of old who or, or even the prophets of old walked and moved with a level of confidence that no one has. <clears throat> now, now you, you know, you have your elect, men, women, and children who are going to believe. <clears throat> and then you have your 144,000 men who who are on a level or should I say who who has a faith level that's on a level that no one on this earth has the elect the 144,000 will have a walk that no one has and in these evil days that are before us they're going to stand out like a sore thumb, but it's going to be a beautiful thumb. These men are going to stand out on a level that it's going to confound a lot of people. Like a lot of people are going to be like with 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 all these calamities happening, happening and all this death around them. How are those men moving the way that they are? Why aren't those men? as skinny as I am and and I know I'm not eating and, you know because there's no food around how are these men's lips not white because I'm thirsty why aren't they thirsty you know the elect the 144,000 men will 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 have a walk about them that supersedes the the walk of everyone else and you know that by the scriptures, when it talks about men of faith, you know, like, 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 um, like, um, like, um, I'm in the book of Hebrews right now, chapter 11, like, like, you know, Abel, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, you know, just to name a few, these men walked, walked and had certain a certain level of confidence that that made their faith impeccable you know because we are in the times when doubt can really get you hurt get you killed you know so you know I've done enough <clears throat> so like I've done enough babbling let me get to the scriptures because it's a beautiful thing when you you can acknowledge the level of faith 
that's going to have to be had in these evil days. And 144,000 men will definitely have this level of faith. And I pray to my power, Yahab Bashim Yahushar, that I am one of those men. Because quite honestly, I, I truly believe that that's why the Lord is building up certain men now to deal with the calamities that's about to come. You know, I, I strongly believe that it's going to be so bad. Why? Because the Lord is going to be, the Lord said that this will be a time like none other. It's going to be so bad that you're going to actually have to have a level of faith and you're going to have to learn how to have that level of faith now to be able to endure what you see in the near future. You know, it's one thing to watch a person get hurt on YouTube. It's another thing to watch a person get hurt in front of you. You know, it, it actually does something to you, you know? And that's what it's going to be like. But the men of Yahab Hashem Yahab Hashem understand that It's judgment going forth, you know? And uh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I'm going to get the book of Sirach, chapter 2. And I'm going to get the book of Sirach, chapter 2, and verse. I'm going to start at verse. I'm going to start at verse 8. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 1. I'm going to start at verse 1 because this is very important, you know, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh requires this of the elect and the hopeful elect. And it reads, My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh, Prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright. And constantly endure. Yeah, I mean, you... You gotta have a mind frame of... Of faith, you know? You have to set your heart aright, you know? You have to constantly understand that... It is through faith where we might be saved... You know, and you have to constantly endure the tribulations and the sufferings that you have to go through in the flesh, even throughout your day to day, you know, and make no haste in a time of trouble. Yeah, I mean, just relax and let the spirit of Yahweh Shai control what's going on, you know. Because what a lot of people is going to, what's about to happen to a lot of people is a lot of people is going to move in haste. You know, a lot of people is going to want to go from point A to point B or do this or that or, 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 or whatever without moving in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know? And, and the Lord is saying, I'm in control of this, you know? I, I relax. I got you, you know. Verse three, cleave unto him and depart not away. Cleave on to this truth, you know, because there's a lot of doctrines out there that would definitely pull you away from having this truth, you know, especially the doctrines of this world, you know. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You know? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Yeah, you, you know, so if you're suffering with ailments, take that cheerfully. Go through your suffering. You know? Because it's Yahweh Shai that's doing it to you. You know? 
Don't hate the Lord because you're going through ailments like a lot of other non-believers do. You know, take that cheerfully. Take your whipping with with great cheer. You know, because you're being tested, you know. And be patient when thou art changed to a low state. And trust me, we're being changed into a low state. We're in a low state, you know, but it's about to get lower because the things that we have, you know, to keep us somewhat comfortable is about to be taken away, you know. So, you know, you just can't go out there and act all willy nilly based on your emotions. You got to be patient, you know. You have to wait on your habashim, your shy and everything that you do, you know. In these evil times, you're going to have to move in the spirit, you know. If the Lord is dealing with you on that level, you know. For gold is tried in the fire. Yeah, you're being tried. And the elect, the 104,000, the elect and the 144,000 men out of the elect, they're going to be tried too. Everybody's going to be tried. But the elect will get saved out of these calamities, you know. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And that's what that's what this is all about. Your faith, your walk, having that understanding, having that having that confidence that you understand what's going on, having that confidence to know that you can call upon the names of the Habashim Yahushai in the time of trouble. Because a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people don't have that walk, you know, and a lot of people who think that they have that walk now when everything is good, they're going to soon realize that, they, you know, they didn't have it, you know. Believe in him and he will help thee. And that's it, because a lot of people just don't believe a lot of people don't have the gift of faith given from upon high. You know, again, a lot of people think they do. But in that day of trouble, they're going to soon realize they don't have it. They never had it. You know. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear Yahweh, wait for his mercy. And that's what I was getting into earlier. You know, wait upon Yahweh by Shimei Arashai. You know, don't be hasty. Relax. Let the Lord do what he do because, you know, the Lord said his men are going to eat. His men will drink. His men will sing for joy. You know, relax. Let Yahweh Yahushua do what he do, you know. And go not aside, lest ye fail. And I pray that Yahweh Yahushua don't allow me to go aside neither to the left or the right, you, you know, but stay straight in this, you know, because it's about to get so bad out here, man, that, that even those who proclaim to be in the truth, they're going to go aside. They're going to go astray. You know, it's going to happen. I just pray to my power, Yahweh, that it doesn't happen to me. Ye that fear Yahweh hope for good. Yeah, I hope for good. You know, I pray that me and the Akim who are doing the work, you know, will be protected in those days. Although we will be, but I pray for my brothers, you know. And fear everlasting joy and mercy. Salakia. And let me read verse 9 over. Ye that fear Yahweh, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And that's what we're hoping for. That's what we got faith in. We got fear that Yahweh Shem Yahushai would, would give us everlasting joy and mercy because we're doing what he told us to do. Go out on the highways and byways and teach and preach, you know. Uh, 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 warn the flock, you know, put these videos out, brotherly love, try to follow the law, statutes and commandments until the best of our ability. So we're trying to, we're doing what 
or we're trying to do to the best of our ability that that the Lord required us to do. And that is faith within itself, because the Lord said, show me thy faith or yeah, the Lord said, show me thy faith without thy works and I will show you my faith by my works. So we have faith that no one else has. We, we, we have a certain walk that no one else has, you know? And it's a beautiful thing. Verse 10, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded? And that's, that's, that's the crux of it right there. Let me read that again. Look at the generations of old. Who are the generations of old? The other prophets. The other men, women, and children who believed in Yahweh by Shimei The other men, the other men and women who called on the name of Yahweh by Shimei You know, they weren't confounded. They had the name, and they called upon the name in time of trouble, and the Lord delivered them. The men who called upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh of old knew the name, they called upon the name, and they believed in the name, were delivered. And that's really deep right there because I got to read that again. Look, up, look at the generations of old and see. Open up the scriptures and see. Did ever trust in Yahweh and was confounded? No. No. I can't find one scripture that a person or a man called upon Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and was confounded. Not one. Now, now you do have those, those, those men who called upon the Lord or called upon the name of the Lord of old that, 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 you know, didn't believe. You know, you did have those wicked Israelites that that were just wicked, you know. But this is referring to the prophets and those men who actually believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the word. None of them were confounded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? And that's another strong point you know because if you don't have the fear in the Lord you won't you won't do what's required of you from the Lord you know because if you don't have to fear the Lord you, you know you'll start going into these other doctrines believing that the Lord is coming back you know to sing kumbaya songs and that's far from the truth you know if you don't have the fear of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, you got then then you're believing in another power. You know? Because the Lord requires you to fear for him. That's a requirement. Because if you fear the Lord, you won't go off. And if you do go off, you are straight, you, you, you know, to repent. And pray that you won't go off again. That's what the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will instill in you. That's what the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will teach you. Faith will have you believing that if you go off, the Lord's going to kick your ass because you believe that and that will be true. But a lot of people don't have faith because a lot of people weren't bestowed that gift. Man, it's very powerful. Read it on. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? No one. No one. And in these days that are come, coming, a lot of people don't have the name Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. And those, those people are going to be destroyed. Period, point blank. Verse 11, for Yahweh is full of compassion 
and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. I'm using my phone right now, you know, to do this lesson, but I wrote down the definition of affliction. Salakia, the definition of compassion. And it reads, compassion, a deep awareness of, of and sympathy for another suffering. So in verse 11, the Lord has compassion, meaning he has a deep awareness of and sympathy of our suffering. No other nation upon the face of this earth has that for the nation of Israel. No one has compassion for us. But Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And that's deep within itself. Verse 12. Woe be to the fearful hearts. Yeah, you know, if you're fearful, you know, you do some stupid shit. Because if you're fearful, then you're lacking faith. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, we're all in the fresh in the flesh and we'll get scared yeah but but you know the lord said don't faint you know we'll be to the fearful hearts because if you're fearful you'll do some stupid shit and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways woe unto him that is faint hearted and 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 when you read verses 12 and 13, let me read verse 12 again. Woe be to the faint hearted, the faint hearts and faint hands and to the sinner that goeth two ways. And when you read the end of that, the end of that sentence, it has an exclamation point, meaning <laughs> It's real. And then when you read verse, verse number 13, woe unto them, woe unto him that is faint hearted, exclamation point, meaning, yo, woe unto you. For, for he, and, and this is another point, for he that believeth not, therefore he shall not be defended. So if you lose faith, if you lack faith, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will not defend you in that day of trouble. So you have to have a certain walk. You have to have a certain confidence. You have to be confident on a level that no one else has. You have to actually believe, period, point blank. No one, nothing. You have to believe. Period, point blank. Verse number 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when Yahweh shall visit you? Yeah, so if you lose patience, what are you going to do when the Lord visits you? Because you fucked up. You didn't have faith. You didn't have that fear upon you. You didn't have that certain swag about you. You lost it. You know? The 100 the 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 144,000 men will have it. Come hell or high water, the the 144,000 men of the nation of Israel will have that confidence spoken about in the book of Second Edges chapter 2. They will have it. They will have that fear upon them not to go off. And if they do go off, Repent. Repent. You know, and pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall increase your strength, faith, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. He'll give it to you. You got to believe that, which means you got to have faith. You got to have a confidence. You know, and all of that's a part of that walk. You got to believe that, that, that the Lord is with you. When you're a war, uh, when, 
when you're awake and you're out and about in the streets or when you're in the highways and byways and even when you sleep, you you, you have to have that confidence that Yahweh Shem Shai is with you. Always. You know? Because it's about to get real out here. And the 144,000 men will have that walk of confidence that no one has. No one's going to have that walk of confidence in, in the days of trouble. Let me end this off here in verse number 15. They that fear Yahweh, they that fear Yahweh will not disobey his word. So if you fear the Lord, you're not going to disobey. You know, you're not just going to go out there and do your own thing. You're going to follow the Lord's statutes and commandments in the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh unto the best of your ability. You're going to do it. Why? Because you're going to have that fear upon you that the Lord can jack you up. Especially now, you know, we're seeing people getting jacked up left and right. It's getting eaten by animals, hit by cars, getting beat up by law officials, whatever. You, you see people dropping dead left and right. So I got that fear upon me always. And I pray that my power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, take not his Holy Spirit from me. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You know? And they that love him will keep his ways. How do you love Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai? You know, you follow his commandments. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Uh, Book of John. Let me get that. And I'll, you know, I'll end it off on that. The Book of John, chapter 14, verse number 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's how you love the Lord. You keep his commandments to the best of your ability. So with that, I found that you found this short lesson edifying. And I give all praise, glory, and honor to my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone of Tomatus Truth. Peace and salutations to the elect and hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.